We have two production systems that we commonly use here. They both uh, revolve around a plastic tray that has um, ventilation holes in the bottom of it. And we have two choices of media. Uh, one is a fiber fill mat material that is sterile. And then we have a peat-based material that is a germinating mix. It has peat, very fine perlite, and very fine vermiculite. Perlite adds air capacity, air holding capacity, and vermiculite adds some water holding capacity. So in the case of microgreens, we wouldn't want to use a lot of vermiculite in our mix because we want it to be able to drain. The seeds are planted very dense, and you need that extra airflow to keep them from getting diseased. There's a lot of variety in crop selection when it comes to microgreens. You have everything from greens, which includes space spinach, mustard greens, collard greens. You have edible flowers, such as nasturtiums. And you have herbs, such as parsley, dill, chives. So you have a lot of variants in what crops you can choose. I'm going to demonstrate a basic broadcast method in the germinating mix. using the fiber fill material. I'm going to use a measuring spoon so I can see how much I'm actually putting out and so I can get some sort of measure. It's important when you're deciding that you're going to seed microgreens that you seed different crops individually. Some crops take as little as 7 to 12 days to be ready to harvest and other crops take as much as three to four weeks to be ready to harvest. This is a tray of Asian greens that are ready to harvest. Packaging for microgreens can range anywhere from the delivery of live trays for the restaurant market down to these protective clamshells for farmers markets and health food stores. The packaging actually protects the young tender greens from damage. Many seed companies are now gearing themselves towards the idea that people that, and growers are leaning towards new crops such as microgreens. So you can get a lot of help from seed companies in selection. There are people that are very health conscious and they're leaning towards seeds that are pesticide free and completely organic.